Thanks, Chance. Now, that is just one of Clerk Tina Peters' current investigations. Multiple agencies have filed criminal investigations into Peters' actions, one involving a Grand County Grand Jury. I have been covering all of Peters' actions, and I now take you back to the beginning when all of this started nearly two years ago. It all started February of 2020 when the clerk and recorder's office announced it found more than 500 uncounted ballots from a prior election. Peters declined to have those ballots counted, causing more than two dozen employees to quit and leave the clerk's office. A recall attempt failed. You can't go out and avoid public transparency. Flash forward to 2021, August 9th. Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold announces a probe of the Mesa County's clerk's office. The FBI then joins the criminal investigation into the alleged security breach. The one we least suspected would um, hack the computer was the clerk herself. August 10th, Peters appears at a cyber symposium alleging the 2020 presidential election was rigged. Grand Junction resident and activist Ann Landman files the first ethics complaint alleging MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell paid for Peters' flight to his symposium. August 12th, election system passwords show up in a video posted online and the Secretary of State decertifies all of Mesa County's election equipment. To prohibit the use of these voting system components in Mesa County. And orders Mesa County to replace it. Accused of tampering with elections equipment, Peters responds. I say never. Peters announces a run for re-election in 2022 and refuses the Secretary's order, leading the state's Independent Ethics Commission to investigate. This is an attempt to... Uh, uh, I believe, to intimidate an election official. And Lehman files a second complaint. That no funds can be solicited unless the individual is formally charged. And Tina has not yet been formally charged. In December, Peter denies allegations in the first ethics complaint, but refuses to respond publicly to the second. The Mesa County District Attorney's Office then announces a grand jury trial. In January of 2022, Peter's ex-husband, Thomas Peters, slaps the clerk with another lawsuit, alleging Peters initiated a quick claim deed and transferred his new home to herself. The Peters saga continued February 8th with the DA search warrant and GJPD arrest. For now, all investigations continue and only time will tell which federal, state, and local election tampering charges, if any, Peters will face in the end. Now, I know that was a lot, but again, Clerk Tina Peters currently faces seven investigations. For a full timeline of events, head to westernslopenow.com.